Hey, Nate Diggs here. Back to all hole in ones on the new course, Miss the Easy Course, which I want to say it's an easy course. But there's a lot of tough holes, some easy ones too. I think the two that gave me trouble were 13 and 17, especially 17. But here we go. Hole one. Pretty easy to straight shot. Just keep it slow, steady, goes in the hole. Hole two, a couple of bank shots, and it goes right in. Hole three, this one's really about the speed. You just gotta get the right speed when you hit it up there. So that it bounces off that. You're almost slapping the ball in from that wall. Hole number four, this is a fun hole. I just bank it, if you get that right bank, it goes right in. Hole number five. This one you only have to really hit three of these things. It's the uh, constellations that are on the sky. Once you figure it out, it's not too hard really. Hole number six, one of my favorite holes, very fun hole. Tough though. Figured you had to, found out you had to just bank it off of that, just barely bank it off and it hits that other rock. Hole number seven, lucky number seven. This one wasn't super tough, but it's definitely not an easy one to get a hole in one. I learned you just bank it off that left wall, which in a second I'll show you a closer shot of it. So it's that second line where it comes from white to gray is basically what you're aiming for. Hole number eight, this was a fun, easy one, I thought. Again, just all about speed. You wanna just get at the right speed at that steam pipe, and then bounces right in.
Hole number nine. This one was a little tough, but I got it fairly quick. It's just getting the right speed. And bank, I've, you got to bank it off to get that right angle at it. But they kind of hop it along and push your ball along if you, when you get that right speed. Hole number 10, this one's fairly easy. I did a, showed you, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to get the hole in one, cause this way I don't like it at all. It's kind of a cheap shot. I just wanted to show it the way, the easy way that I wanted to do in the first place, which is just activating it and then rolling back down straight. So in a second, I'll show you the other way. So this is the way I think it should be played. Just kind of hit it and then let it roll back in. I mean, this one's so easy. I got on the first try of when I was first played this course. Right speed, just get it up to that one and everything funnels in. Hole number 12. This one was actually pretty fun to get. It's fun practice in this shot. It's how to get those right bank shots. Now, hole 13, I wasn't even sure if I was going to get this one when I was first trying it. But I learned you, you just back, you kind of hit it between your legs. Fairly hard, but not too hard. You'll get this right speed once you start practicing it. I'm going to show you two. You'll see the two dots and then this little corner right here. Now, if you pitch your, the stick part in the corner, like I'm showing you right here, right in that corner, then it's at the end of the putter. Don't use the whole putter, just from the stick to it. Another hard part though, practicing this, is you have to wait for that, that little down bridge thing to come back up every time. If not, it'll bounce off that. So if you're practicing it, just be mindful of that. Hole number 14. This was a fun one. Just hit it fairly hard, not too hard, and then just bounces off there. I think you can get it other ways, but this was the way I found the easiest to get it. Hole number 15, I thought this one would be a little bit more trouble, but it wasn't too bad. 
Just gotta hit it hard. Hole number 16, probably the easiest hole out here. Maybe not the, once you hit that thing, it seems to go in. I got on my first try. Now, hole 17 gave me some troubles. I tried it many different ways, but I thought, figured out the easiest way is to backhand it into the wall right behind you, and then it pops up over the stairs. Just try to backhand it kind of to the center of that wall. Oh, another thing that I did is just for this one, I went back to the settings and put my putter power up to 100%. It seemed to help a lot to give you more power to bounce the ball up. And brings us to hole 18. This one. It's a lot of things you have to hit. I mean, you got to hit it pretty hard, too. And that drawbridge thing that seems to go down right before you get to it. That's the hard part. I jumped over it so many times. As always, all my subscribers do get 10% off all my custom controllers. They are 100% customizable. If you want a logo, emblem, your name on it, gamer tag, whatever, I can do it for you. Favorite team, pretty much anything you can think up or dream up, I can make it. Check out NLD Customs on Etsy and eBay. There are the link in the description. As a special Christmas bonus right now, I'll put on your name or gamer tag for free or any kind of logo that you want on it. If you pick out one of the 50 or 60 or 70 different controllers that I have, or if you'd like to customize your own, just message me and we can figure out step by step what you want. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And I will be coming out with more hole in one videos soon. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you do celebrate. Until next time, thanks guys.